What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of I Know Chris. I know I've been gone for a little while. Had my vaccine shot, had some side effects to it, a little bit more severe than most people. So I've kind of been dealing with that. But we back and we ready to roll, my friends. Y'all hear this rolling behind me? Got my gas cooker going here. Mm-hmm. We're balling some green peanuts. Uh, just gonna just be kind of cooking with I Know Chris today. We're gonna be doing a couple different things. I'm gonna be putting some country style ribs, uh, boneless basically ribs, on the pit barrel cooker. May even take some uh, bell peppers and stuff them with some, some pork. Mm-hmm. Y'all gotta stay tuned and see. I don't know what we're gonna do. This is just this is cooking what I know Chris today. Let's take a let's take a look at these green peanuts. If you ain't never had green boil peanuts, that's what we do here in the south. Uh, fresh green peanuts from the field, they take them before they dry out because I don't really like roasted peanuts. And you put them in water and you boil them and you add salt. That's it. And they're delicious. They're a little salty, but they're also they're soft when you boil them and they're delicious. Let's take a look in the pot real quick. Yeah, you can see in there we got green peanuts in there uh, these are fresh from florida i live in georgia but florida already has their peanuts up and we got them in uh, a couple of gallons of water there and we're gonna salt them up if you haven't have ever had fresh green peanuts you're missing out i know a lot of people eat parched peanuts but i like bold peanuts you put them in water and you boil them and you boil them with salt some people even put spicy stuff in them we're gonna salt these up really good because it's gonna take a lot this is about four pounds of peanuts here. Uh, that was gone. Spill some more in there. Yeah, yeah, I know somebody that was saying, good gut the salt. Trust me, this is a big pot of water. And it's gonna take a lot of salt. All right, so that right there, we coated them pretty good at the top. I'm gonna let that uh, heat up when that water comes to a boil. I'll stir them around and I may come back and put some more, more salt in there. We'll taste the, the, the water and see how salty it is. Don't want to get it too salty. But that's the good thing about boiled green peanuts. It's a salty taste in them. So, let's let this bad boy get that fire down now. Get the boiling. And like I said, we'll get the pit barrel cooker around here. Uh, fire it up put some country style ribs on it i'm thinking about taking some uh, red bell peppers cutting the tops off stuffing them with some um the country style ribs once we get them cooked and i want to see if i got some rice maybe put some rice in there and some onion and put them back in the pit barrel cooker and let that bell pepper cook with that Ooh, that might be good my friends y'all gotta stick around and see what i know chris is gonna be cooking today this is a spend the day cooking what i know chris hope y'all enjoy stay tuned all right, guys, I told you we we're going to be cooking some pork on the uh, pit barrel cooker today. We're not going to be hanging this pork. These are country style ribs, just hunks of pork. We're going to be laying on the grate in the pit barrel cooker today, cooking for two hours, just like we're hanging ribs. Um, only thing we're doing a little bit different today is I got a marinating in this smoke pit barbecue Carolina vinegar sauce. It is a vinegar sauce. I'll give you a closer up look of this bottle because I don't know how good that's coming in. But it's basically a vinegar sauce with red pepper flakes. Uh, it's got like apple cider vinegar in it. It's kind of spicy, not not like you go, oh God, it's gonna burn me up. It's got that vinegar kick with those red pepper flakes when you bite into them. It's just delicious. And I found out by putting this in a container and putting your pork or ribs in it and just marinate it for about an hour, which is what's been going on here. It's been in the fridge for about an hour. Uh, it has delicious flavor to it. If you like anything with an apple cider vinegar or a little spice kick to it, this stuff is off the chain to marinate with it. And it's good to brush on and eat as a sauce. It's very watery, as you can see, splashy, splashy. But it's tasty tasty my friends um then we'll be hitting it up uh, only thing else i'll be putting it on because this has got all kinds of spices in it um we got this touch of cherry by three little pigs it's called touch of cherry barbecue um seasoning we'll be sprinkling some of that in it's gonna add a little sweetness to it and then we're just gonna add some regular black pepper on it put on the pit barrel cooker on the grate we'll let it go smoke for about two hours just like the ribs and it's gonna be off the chain i'm thinking about i'm gonna try to i don't know how my daylight's gonna do because the sun's setting on me it's always uh, I got two red bell peppers. I was thinking about topping them off, stuffing them with some of this pork when it's done. And I got to check and see if I got some rice. I want to put some rice in there, stuff it with some rice in the pork. I think it'd be delicious and put the pepper in back in the, in the cooker and smoke it. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we can get that done. If not, <laughs> you'll know in a little while. You won't see it. And I'm like, didn't get it done. But uh, I'm going to bring you a little closer, let you look at the sauces, the seasoning, and what the meat looks like with the uh, marinade in there on it. It smells delicious if you like stuff with vinegar on it and spices um also i, I can read the ingredients off real quick it's apple cider vinegar brown sugar uh molasses kosher salt pepper salt no pepper sauce my bad pepper sauce i don't know what the heck that is um vinegar crushed red peppers black pepper garlic and onion season 
Tasty, tasty. A lot going on there. So I'm gonna bring you in close real quick. So let's take a closer look at the, the sauce or the marinade. You can call it whatever you want. It says sauce, but we're using it as a marinade. And a touch of uh, cherry by the three little pigs. Let's get y'all in a little closer and let you look. And then we're gonna move over to the pit barrel cooker. Get this thing cooking. Y'all stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're going with. This is the smoke pit Carolina vinegar sauce. Yummers, and you see all the spices in there, the red pepper, the black pepper. Oh man, it's got a lot going on in there. Tasty, tasty. Good marinade, I found out, and really good sauce. If you like something with a vinegar kick, Carolina vinegar. And this is the Touch of Cherry by Three Little Pigs. If you can find it or see it, it has a little sweet taste to it. A little pepper in it, but it's got a little bit of sweet taste. I like it. It's a good combination. Of course, just regular black pepper. Anybody can add that. Then over here in the container, let's pop the lid off that. Sorry about my phone saying beep, beep. Got a notification. You see what's going on? You see all the seasonings on that already? Red pepper flakes, black pepper. We're just going to add a little bit more to it. But that vinegar, whoo, that's soaking in. My friends, as I like to say. That's going to be tasty, tasty. So let me back out of here. I'm going to go ahead and throw the rest of the seasoning on here. And then we're going to get on the pit barrel cooker. So y'all stay tuned. All right, let's get the pork put in here. <laughs> Smoke. All right, let's lay the pork in here. We can go two hours on it. Now nice sizzle, sizzle. We got some applewood smoking today. Love the sound of that. Sizzling up. We'll get the lid back on this and let the smoke start doing its thing. In two hours, my friends, we're going to be eating some tasty, tasty pork, I guarantee you. Like I said, I'm going to try the thing with the bell peppers. I had to change my location. I know y'all probably already noticed that. Like, why does he look like he's a different location? Moved around to the front because the sun is setting. I may have to use light. So, there it is. Pork's laid in there. Two hours. We'll come in about an hour and flip it over. And that's all we're going to do to this. We're not going to do nothing extra to it. Just let it slow cook. So let me get the lid on this. Get our other rod put back in here. Helps control that temperature. The lid going on. Just like so. Let me flip y'all up. I want to give a quick shout out to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you from all around the world. Some of you are already celebrating Mother's Day probably by the time you've seen this. All right, guys, let's take a look at these peanuts and see how they're looking. They've been going for about an hour and a half. Uh, I went with about a cup and a half, half of salt in this uh, cooking of these peanuts. Green peanuts, tasty, tasty, salty, trust me. So I'm going to turn y'all down so y'all can take a look at these peanuts. This is what they're looking like and give them a little taste and see if they're about ready. All right, let's take the lid off. Slide it over here to the side. Peanuts. Mm-hmm, mm, looking tasty, tasty. Hot? Yes, it is. Hot. Burn baby's hand. Put back. <laughs> Too hot. Y'all be like, I know Chris, you know better than that. Let's come back up here. Come back up here. Look at this fool right here. Look at this fool right here. <laughs> All up in y'all's face. See, I've been away too long. I lost my mind. Alright. Peanut. Green peanut. Mmm. 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 Salty and delicious. Alright, this is a soft one. It's called a pop. It really doesn't have a peanut develop in it. It just takes all that salty water and juice in there. And you can actually chew up the whole. Mm. Get all that juice out of there. Delicious. Let's find us a real peanut. See how they're coming along. You don't want them super soft, but you want them somewhat soft. It's salty. That depends on how much sodium you can take. Some people can't stand a lot of salt. High blood pressure, like me. <laughs> I don't care. Who wants to live forever anyway? Just enjoy your life while you can and you're here. Cause you never know. Car going by. Alright. Let's give it a little crack. See what it looks like on the inside. Mm. Uh oh. I'm trying to jump out. I got him. There he is. 
These are called Redskin. I'll give you a little closer look. Uh, Redskin peanuts. I don't know how good y'all can see that. But they're called Redskin peanuts. It's hard to see here in the shadows. They have kind of a sweet taste. Mmm, so delicious. So you had that sweet and salty taste. Sweetness from the peanut. Salt from the salt water. I know Chris put it in, just don't care. They're not quite there. Still got a little crunch to them. I don't want them being crunchy. They're going to be softer. Uh, for boiled peanuts, you want them to be kind of soft. If they don't get soft, it's probably because you don't have good green fresh peanuts to start off with. So that's a, that is a key. So I'm going to put the lid back on here. Let them go about another 30 minutes. And we'll be taking these up. Taking them out of the water. We'll be eating some green peanuts. This is a busy day. And over there, where I moved my new location, because the sun is setting. You can see it's kind of getting darker. I don't know how good this is focusing. I got the uh, country style ribs going. And once again, happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you. Let's get this lid back on. I'll catch up with y'all a little bit. Don't touch that lid with your hand, Chris. Y'all fit to see me holler. Later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the heat turned off. Boom. Get the lid off there. And let's get these bad boys out of there. See a lot of water's about all gone. I let them soak a little while on that salt. Testy, testy. Look at them peanuts, y'all. Ooh, they're gonna be so good. We're gonna be eating ribs and pork. <laughs> Pork ribs and peanuts tonight. <laughs> oh God. What a combination. Blood pressure is gonna be through the roof. Cholesterol and everything. Looking good, y'all. Ooh. Motorcycles driving by. I love living near the road in the country. It's not as quiet as it used to be out here. Way too many people living out here now. Too much traffic. But as you can see, my friends, we have a bunch of peanuts. It'll be so tasty. So it takes about, I, I did use about two hours. Boiled them about two hours in this salty water. Some people put a crab boil in here or spices to make them spicy peanuts. I've even known people to put vinegar in here to make it like a salt and vinegar. Um, you can do it however you want to. Anyway, it's gonna be a, a big bowl full my friends. I'm gonna get the rest of these dipped up, and you can see it's a big bowl. I'll get the rest of these dipped up, my friends, and um, we'll move over to the table and eat some up. I'll catch you back up with y'all in a few minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the bowl of peanuts up. Big old, big, big, big container. I know Chris loves bowl of peanuts. They're gonna be salty, sweet, and good, my friends. If you ain't never had bowl of peanuts, it's an awesome summer treat. I know they're cooked different ways and around the world, but here in the United States, especially in Georgia, mm, they are delicious, sweet, salty summer treat. Soft, so good. If you ain't never had them, and you can get some fresh uh, peanuts out of the field when they're first plowed up, put them in a pot of water, put some salt in them, boil them down until they get kind of soft. Delicious. And if you eat them outside, just throw the holes like that. Hold on. What is that? I know, Chris. That is our timer. Four. I country style ribs there over here in the smoker. See the smoke? They're still cooking. Got one more hour on that. That's right. This is going to be a double feature today. Boiled peanuts. <laughs> green peanuts and cooking the uh, some country style ribs and we're still gonna do them stuffed bell peppers I believe I think we may have enough time we're gonna try to get it in there man these are so good I wish y'all could come eat some of these lucky lucky I don't know how good you can see that but they're red they call it red skin peanuts mm-hmm they're so good they're so good I love them and Georgia where I live they have lots of peanuts here crop but they're not quite ready yet. They'll be later on, around probably about July, August. But right now, Florida's got them ready and they're shipping them to Georgia, fresh and they're delicious. Let's get some Pepsi. Pepsi! Not sponsored by Pepsi, but I like Pepsi. A little meaty cup. <laughs> but yeah, if you get a chance to get some boiled peanuts, you ever come to the United States and you're not from here? Mm. And you hadn't had boiled peanuts, not parched, not dry roasted, boiled green peanuts, fresh. You would eat these till you're sick. I could probably eat this whole bowl. I'm not lying to you. It's like I'm popping them open right here. 
I would just sit down on my bed, turn YouTube on or something, or if it was uh, football season, I'd eat this like they ain't no tomorrow. I love them. Worse than a kid with candy. But that's going to wrap this part up, my friends. Um, next part of the video you'll be seeing will be us taking those uh, country stout ribs up. It's going to be tasty, tasty. We're going to chop one up pretty good. And we're going to mix it in with some rice, stuff a red bell pepper. Uh, cut the top of the red pepper, bell pepper off and we're going to put it back home. Stick it back in the pit barrel cooker and let it cook down in there. It's going to be some kind of good, my friends. So y'all stick around. We'll catch back up in a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. We're ready to go here. It is looking extra tasty. Can y'all see that? Look in there. We're about to take this up, and um, I'm going to chop one of these up and put it inside a bell pepper with some rice and put it back in here. So y'all stay tuned. Let's get this up. All right, y'all. I just got it up. Got this thermal pin here. We're looking for about 179, 178, 180. That'll do. Anywhere from the 179, 180 temperature is what I'm looking for. 184, 186. This comes in real handy. It's a thermal pin. It's called Thermal Pro. And it's just a quick stick. And it also has on the back the temperatures of the different uh, meats that you cook. Just in case you uh, don't know what temperature you need to cook to. It has it in Celsius and Fahrenheit. This comes in very handy. But anyway, you can see it's very tender. To the touch there. I don't know how you can see that that good, but it's very tender still, my friends. And that's that pit barrel cooker. Look. <laughs> it's gonna be tasty, tasty. All right, I'm gonna chop a couple of these pieces up, stuff a bell pepper with some rice, put it back on the smoker, and I'll catch up back with y'all then. Stay tuned. All right, guys, got the red bell pepper. Ooh, got a pretty one today. Looks like it's freshly picked. <laughs> and we got our rice right here, and we got a pork. So we're going to cut the top of this off. I'm going to try the best I can to cut around the top of this so we can still use the top. Let's see how that comes out real quick. <laughs> Probably not very good. I'm going to do my best. I ain't no eye chef. You ain't been to my brother's channel? Go check it out. Eye chef. Give me a shout out. I always support my channel since I've been on YouTube. He calls me his brother. I need to go to Thailand and visit brother. Ta-da! So I'm gonna cut the top of that piece right off. I'll show you in just a second. Get these seeds out real quick and throw them in the yard. Maybe the birds want them. Maybe I have a bell pepper plant back here behind me in a couple weeks. I don't know. That would be nice. <laughs> like, I know Chris, outside the kitchen, doing the best I can, people. I'm trying to get this done before it gets dark. And I know it won't take long once you put it on the smoker. Because your bell pepper, I mean, everything's cooked here. The rice is already cooked. The pork's already cooked. So bell pepper, people eat them raw all the time. It's healthy for you, right? I don't know. I think it is if it's got pork in it. It's extra healthy. So anyway. I'm trying to get a few little seeds out. Some may not even care about the seeds. <laughs> I think I ate one. All right. Some way i got to figure out how to cut this off. Let's see what I can do with this. Without messing it up. Because I want it to kind of be able to use it as like a... If I cut my hand, how good would that be as a video? <laughs> Won't even edit that out. Right on to the ER. Just keep going. Well, I did pretty good, but the stem is not going to be in place. That sucks. <laughs> Maybe by the magic of YouTube I can fix that. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Urgh, curse this. <laughs> Alright, that rice bowl was kind of hot. Maybe it won't burn my table and put it right there if it does. Oh well. Alright, let's get a piece of this yummy pork here. Let's see, who wants to go first? You wanna go? You wanna be the one? You're gonna be the one. I should have brought my big chopper right here and just rap, tap, 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 but that's okay. It's no big deal. Because it's only this one. I'm almost done anyway, so. I'm gonna cut through this tender pork off that pit barrel cooker. Y'all know it cooks great ribs, great pork. It does it up so good. Mmm. Mmm, y'all. Just doing something different for y'all today. I was like, what can I do different on the pit barrel cooker? How about stuffed bell pepper with rice and pork? And a lot of my Filipino subscribers and from overseas, they're always like, why don't you ever eat rice? I do eat rice. I just don't eat it on camera. 
I love rice. So anyway. All right, we got that chopped up. There's a cat closing in. He's like, I smell food. Let's get this open. Sorry about the trucks going by. Seed on me. <laughs> All right, get our rice. I'm gonna put a little bit of rice in, in the bell pepper first. Just on the bottom, like so. Then I'll put my pork on it. Push it down in there. Put a little bit more rice, some more pork. A lot more pork. Why can't these people go home? I never realized this many people even live near me. They make me want to move. <laughs> it's not peaceful in the country no more. I think they're circling because they know I'm cooking and they smell it and they want to come eat what I know crisp. I was gonna do two bell peppers, but because of time, we're only gonna do one. Um, there will be another one cooked. Gonna try to put it back on there. <laughs> Look, it's so pretty. So there you go. So we got it all stuffed in there, the rice and the pork. Got the stem stuck back in. Look at that little top up. Ooh, I did a good job. I chef, high five. All the way to Thailand. <laughs> I know Chris learned something. He probably didn't watch this video. <laughs> Fizz, which is running apart, talking trash about me right now. All right, we're gonna move over to the smoker and just sit it down there and let it go for about maybe 15, 20 minutes. It starts getting a little cookness to the pepper. I don't want it wilted. Don't want that. I want it to still have a little texture to it. So let's get over there and put this in the, in the cooker real quick. All right, guys, here we go. We can put the red bell pepper into the smoker, Boop, just like so. You can stand up. Like I said, we're gonna go about 10, 15 minutes. I'll keep checking on it, and it starts getting a little softness to it. I'm gonna take it out. I don't want it to get over soggy. The pork's already cooked, the rice is already cooked. We're just gonna infuse this sweet bell pepper, red pepper, into the meat and the rice. Infuse. I'm getting all fancy with my words. Let me bring y'all up here. What's up with I know Chris? I know Chris already got fancy on y'all. You already got fancy on y'all? Let's put the lid on this. Let's get it up. It's got a little bit of applewood still smoking. Smell it. Can y'all smell that? Oh, oh I'm sorry. This ain't smell of vision. It's YouTube. Lay it on. See you later. Bye. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been 25 minutes. Look at this beauty. Ooh. It cooked up so good. It's just barely tender. I did not want to cook it to it. It was just soggy. I want it to still have some texture to it, a little cut to it. it smells delicious. It smells like a beautiful, sweet bell pepper. I smell the rice. I smell the pork in there. I'm so ready to eat this. I hope y'all enjoyed this today. I know it was a little different. Um, but I'm gonna bring y'all some different stuff. I'm trying to give back for not for being not being around for a little while. So let's cut into this and see what we got. You know what? We really don't have to cut into this. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Let's take the top off, like so. Set it aside. See inside there. Mmm, that pork and that rice smells so delicious, my friends. A little fork here. Let's get a little bit of this out of the inside there. Kind of rice and the pork. Y'all, I know my Filipino friends say, eat it with your fingers. Rice and pork, I will. No problem. It is delicious. If you haven't tried this, a smoked bell pepper on your cooker, if you got one, some kind of cooker, a grill, I recommend you doing it if you got a smoker or a pit at home or some way to cook it outside. Oh, you know what I want to do right. I'm going to probably regret this. I'm from the country. I'm not no city folk. Don't let me fool y'all. I spent a lot of my young years on my aunt and uncle's farm. Oh, man, it's so good. Mmm. Y'all. This sweet bell pepper with that rice and this pork that we cooked. It's so good, y'all. It's so good. And there's nothing wrong if you just want to get in and get you a handful of that rice. And that pork. <laughs> and go at it. My friends. That's so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. For those who are offended, <laughs> let's cut into this bell pepper. Now, why I would want to do this See how, see, see the aggravation? Trying to hold the pepper still. 
and cut a little bit of it off. Let's get a little bit out with our bell pepper on the fork. Get a little bit out with our forks. There we go. It makes a mess. I know somebody's saying, well, just cut the bell pepper up in some chunks. Like so, scoop some of the rice out. I know. Get a piece of the pork, a little bit of the bell pepper, the rice on it. Especially if you're eating inside a restaurant, you want to be fancy. You could do that. A little spillage. No, oh, it is so good. It is so good. Or you can just scoop it out and eat it. Or you can just go, I know Chris crazy. Mm. I'm going for a mouthful. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this video today. I know it's a little different, but I promise y'all different. I'm going to be trying to cook, come up with some different things I can cook for y'all. Sun is setting. It's been an awesome day. Like I said, wish all you mothers out there happy Mother's Day. Appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed before, hit that red button there to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you did like the content. Leave a comment down below the video. This is probably Premier. Hello, everybody, over there in the comments. If you're new here, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate it. Check out the join button if you'd like to uh, become a member. If you hit that join button down below and become a member, a perk that I give back to you, I will put your name as a shout out for your channel name or a personal at the beginning of my videos. That's how it, it goes. A lot of people are asking me, how can I get my name there? That is a perk I give back to my members. If you hit the join button, you pay $1.99 a month or you pay $4.99 a month for the captain's level. Either one you want if you're interested in that. And my way of giving it back, every time I do a video, I will put your channel name in the intro. And that pretty much is all that. Like I said, until the next time, my friends, you know what you got to do. Stay safe and keep tubing.